everybody. I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome to our channel. It's time for another bathing suit try on haul and today is from Hollister. I love Hollister bathing suits. I have had so many over the years and they have been some of my favorites. I just absolutely love them. And one of the things that I also love is the word love. <laughs> If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that I use that word all the time. I love everything. So today, I am challenging myself to use every other word besides that one. So keep track, and if you notice me using the L word, make sure to comment down below, but I'm gonna work really, really hard and use other words. Let's get started. Hollister's motto this year is be comfortable in your own swim. So while describing the bathing suits and telling you what I think about them, I'm also going to let you know how comfortable they are. For this really nice yellow two-piece, the top is $29 and the bottoms are $19. This bathing suit is so retro and I absolutely adore it. One of the things that is my favorite is the high cut leg and how thin the back is cut and the front. This band out top is really, really nice and is adjustable as well as these thin straps are adjustable. This bathing suit is actually quite comfortable. It actually feels like it would be nice to swim in. So for comfort level, I give it a thumbs up and the color is really nice as well. Next up, I have a white smocked two-piece. The top is $33, the bottoms are $23. I will tell you that the bathing suits at Hollister, while the prices sound very similar to other prices of bathing suits I've bought in the past, these were all full price, there was no sale. So these are some of the most expensive bathing suits I've tried on this season. But let's continue on. This band out top, can be strapless or it does come with straps that you can wear. It ties up in the back so the top is fully adjustable. The bottoms tie on the sides making them fully adjustable as well. I'm a little bit fond of the smocked material but I'm not so sure how I feel about the cut. The bottoms don't really fit quite as well as I would like. The material is really really thick so as far as comfort level is concerned I just kind of give it an okay. Next up I have a one piece with a smocked material. This bathing suit is $50 and I will tell you that I was very fond of it when I saw it hanging on the hanger in Hollister. But when I actually got it home and tried it on, I'm not so fond of it with it actually on, which is why sometimes you have to buy multiple bathing suits right now since the, trying, the fitting rooms aren't open for you to try items on. But let me tell you a little bit about this bathing suit. What I do like is the low cut back and how open the back is because of this cut. What I don't like is how thick and heavy the material is because it is so thick and I mean it's thick. It just doesn't allow it to lay down properly and because of that I think that's why it looks a little bit wonky and a little bit big on me. Comfort wise, this one has a thumbs down, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Hollister, but it's much too heavy. And once it gets wet, I think it's going to hold so much water and be even heavier. Next up, I have a purple and blue tie-dye two-piece. The top is $33, the bottoms are $17. And I think this bathing suit is absolutely tasty. I can just imagine myself at the beach, in the water, wading, or swimming and I think this bathing suit would be amazing. It is so comfortable, definitely a thumbs up in the comfort level and I absolutely dig this bathing suit. The bottoms are a standard bikini cut and they fit really nice and really comfortably. Again, we have another tan kini, not quite, so I call it a half kini. What I do really enjoy about this bathing suit is this bathing suit has the rouging on the side with the tie and it doesn't have it on the bottom so it's just not too much, it's just right. These straps of course are adjustable but the bottoms are not adjustable and the middle of this bathing suit is not adjustable either. 
Next up, I have a white lace one piece. It is $55, and this really reminds me of an old fashioned bathing suit. My husband, Bill, actually says that this would be perfect for a beach wedding, <laughs> that it reminds him of a wedding dress. So we're gonna call this the wedding one piece. <laughs> it is a little bit big on me as well. This is an extra small, and usually Hollister's bathing suits run small anyway, but as you can see, it's really bunchy right here, and I have it tied up pretty tight around my neck. Let's move to the back. It does have high cut legs, which are nice, but it just doesn't fit me right. If it did, I think that it might be really, really cute and I might enjoy wearing it from time to time, especially if I were getting married on the beach. <laughs> but I'm really fond of these cutouts right here. Really nice and the comfort level, I'll give it a thumbs up. Next up, I have a so creamy smocked material two-piece. The top is $29 and the bottoms are $19. I'm starting to believe that this material is Hollister's favorite this season because there were so many bathing suits in this really thick smocked material. I believe that when you get this wet, you're going to be wet for a really long time and they're going to be really heavy. But let's talk about some of the perks of this bathing suit. This is an ultra high waist and uh, or high, ultra high leg and I enjoy that. I don't think it quite fits me once again, but I do like how this cuts down and then back up again and does the same thing right here in the front. This is just like a standard sports bra cut. And as far as comfort level is concerned, this bathing suit is quite comfortable. Other than when it gets wet, I think it's going to be quite heavy and there is no adjustability. Next up, we have a high-waisted black two-piece. The top is $29, the bottom $25. And these are absolutely high-waisted, but along with that, these are extremely high-cut legs. You know how much I enjoy and adore a high-cut leg because it elongates my legs. This bathing suit has vertical striped material, which as well, I think, elongates the body. And being that it's black, it's really sleek and really nice. It has thin straps and a band out top. The middle is adjustable. The straps are adjustable. And the comfort level, I absolutely give this one a thumbs up for comfort level. As I told you in the past, high-waisted bottoms are really in this year. Next up, I have a shiny black two-piece. The top is $33, the bottoms are $19, and I am so passionate about these bottoms, except they're just a little bit too big for me. But I love, oh, that's number one, the V cut down. And I am so fond of these little ties on the side, but if they were only adjustable, I think I could actually make these fit me perfect. Check out the back. It has the rouging right here, which would make for a perfect shape if these fit me better. This top is not quite a tankini. It's more of a half kini. It kind of goes halfway down, so it does give you a little more coverage. And check out the size. This is so nice how it bunches up with a little tie on the bottom, which coordinates with the tie on the bottom. Definitely not least, I have a white crocheted two-piece. The top is $39 and the bottoms are $23. This bathing suit is actually my favorite by far. Hello 70s with this amazing crocheted top and check out the back of the top. This crisscross style with one tie adjusts the straps and the back making it very, very easy to adjust. The bottoms are really nice with just this very, very simple cut on the top to coordinate here. And of course, the bottoms are adjustable by these ties. I will say that this bathing suit is probably one of the sweetest ones I've tried on in this entire video. And I think I'm gonna enjoy wearing this. I think that this 70s style top is really gonna stand out in a crowd 
And this baby suit definitely gets a thumbs up in comfort. All right, everybody, I'm gonna end our video here. As you can see, I enjoyed this bathing suit so much when I saw it in the store that I got it in two colors. And this color is really, really lovely. I'm really glad that I picked up both colors because I almost think I like this one even better. And I almost only bought the one in white. I will tell you that I was a little disappointed in the selection and the fit and the fabric of the bathing suits from Hollister this year. Usually they are some of my favorites, but we'll try again next year. I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.